today I want to show you how to use Apivar. Hello, I'm Griffiths. Welcome to Gwynny Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living. Now we do reviews as well. Now today it's that time of year and we need a treat for Varora. Now I've started treating some hives. I just want to show you a video of how to use Apivar. Super, super easy way to do it. I'm going to show you how to apply it to nukes like this one and to full size hives. And before we get into this video, if this is the first time watching, welcome. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. I try my best to put new videos every week. Let's get into it. All right, so you've got a nuke here. And inside these packs, this one's already open. You open it up. And there's five of these, so 10 individual strips. Now on a nuke, that's all I'm gonna do is you rip one down the middle. I'm going to apply one strip per nuke. I'm going to place that back in there. Now with these, the top bit is cut out so you can slip it down in between the frame and then that hold it up. But I don't like doing that and I'll show you why now. So let's get into this nuke box. Nuke is looking lovely. Let's take a frame out to see. He's looking very healthy. Filling up with stores there. The snake won't need that much feed. Let's get into some brood. Now I bought this new hive tool, have you seen a lot of guys, especially abroad in Europe and southern Mex uh, Mexico area, southern America, using these types of hive tools for nukes and it looks quite good so I bought one to try out because these nukes can be a bit tight getting in and out of. Oh some lovely brood there. Eggs brood in all stages, lovely. Really good, right. So, I'm not gonna disturb these bees anymore. I'm gonna put it all back together and we're gonna treat. So, one happy mass strip. Find a bit of a gap in the frame for that to slot down easy. But there. Uh, now, notice what happens there now. If I leave that triangle bit there, that just keeps pushing itself up all the time. I can play havoc with the clown board and lid. So I don't do that. What I do is... Cocktail stick. It's got a hole in the top. Slip that in there, and then I push it down. And that's it. That's all you do to treat a nuke with happy van. Now that's it, that's how easy it is to treat the nuke with Apiva. Now let's get into a full size hive. So here we are in a full size hive. So we're going to treat this with two. Now, as you can see, it's not a massive national hive, it's a nuke that I put in here. Not that long ago, it's building up nice. Because it's in a big box, it's gonna get two strips. Job done. Well, that's it. That's how easy it is to use Apiva to treat your hives. And just to note, Apiva is very effective at killing mites. Uh, it's one of the only treatments out there at the minute that can kill uh, in the high 90% range, so it's either 99 or 98% is uh, what Amitraz is, the chemical that's in Apiva. Very, very effective at killing Ferrora mites and very, very simple to use. 
but of course, like every treatment, there's good and bad. The good with Apivaris is really easy to treat and it's got a seriously effective uh, killing um, range for Varora mites, much more high than other types of treatment. And um, with Apivar, what you'll find is if you're using Apivar to treat your bees in the autumn, then there's no need to use oxalic acid-based treatments in the winter. Um, mm -hmm. It's that powerful. But the downside of it is it is a chemical. So if you want to be a natural or an organic beekeeper, then you can't use Apivar. And it's got quite a long uh, treatment uh, program. So the manufacturer recommends if there's no or little brood in the hive, then a six weeks treatment is enough. If not, they recommend uh, leaving the strips in for 10 weeks. Now, what I do myself, when we treat in in uh, autumn, well, the start of autumn then, so it's we're almost into September. I normally leave these strips in for eight weeks because by the time we come to the eighth week, the brood has really shrunk down anyway. Um, that's how I tend to treat. I leave them in there for eight weeks, but the, uh, the manufacturer does recommend 10 weeks. So it's quite a long uh, treatment program compared to other kinds of treatment Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and don't forget if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content Then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to put a new video every week. Thanks for watching